to all our folks out there watching Go Figure News. We are here with another unboxing. Today, our second Geek Fuel box. This is actually a surprise, so we're excited that uh, it has arrived. And as you can see, geeky goodness is inside. To find Geek Fuel, you can, of course, use the hashtag or geekfuel.com. It is a monthly mystery box for those who might not be aware of this red box right here. And I am unaware of what the theme is this month. So we're going to pop it right open. We're not going to waste any time. So inside the end papers, which I think is classy, I must say, we have a whole bunch of things, including the Geek Fuel um, booklet, which is number 10, it says, uh, November 2015. I don't know if that means it's only the 10th Geek Fuel box. It seems like Geek Fuel has been around longer than just 10 boxes, but maybe this is just number 10 of the magazine. I'm noticing all the different people. This is one thing that they do, which I think is very nice. They have an unboxing video um, spread in their magazine, which is full color. So they include the, the folks and what their YouTube names are. So it's a way of giving back to the community. Now that's something I don't think anybody else does that. Uh, so up with Geek Fuel. Now, I am going to poke around a little bit here. And the first thing I see is Ghostbusters 30th Anniversary Deck of Cards. So here we have it. It depicts uh, in a cartoonish form the original Ghostbusters. Now, of course, this is all leading up to the new Ghostbusters movie. So there's a lot of uh, pre-excitement around that. It's going to be an all-female cast. It looks really good. It looks like, you know, it's the leading female comedians of the time as opposed to at the time when this was put out, at least two of the folks in here, um, or yeah, two of the folks were sort of lead comedians at the time. 16 months inside the development of Defense Grid 2. So, it's a little booklet with a code on the back. And I believe this game is on Steam. So it's a, it's just black and white. It's a little story with a couple of photos talking about exactly that. So that should be an interesting read, particularly if I can, it says it has a full downloadable video game. So I have been promising myself that I will download some of these <laughs> codes that I get in these boxes. And I, I'm such a slacker when it comes to, uh, to video games. I don't know why that is. Okay, what else do we have in here? We have a sticker. Now, is this a Mockingjay sticker? I'll have to look in the booklet, but you tell me if I didn't get it right. I have not seen any of the Hunger Games, so there you have it. Next is a poster of some sort. Now, I personally am not a huge fan of printed goods unless they are exclusive or really powerful graphics. And oftentimes they're just like promo-y kind of things. And eh, that's for some people, but not me. Let's see what we've got here. This is a hard card stock, which is nice. And this is War Never Changes. Check this out. This is actually a nice graphic. It's, it's kind of muted. It's kind of monotone. I like the the actual design. It's it's a very nice design. Um, oops. These bend really easily. So when you take posters out that are sent to you in the mail like this, you know, unroll them and watch where you put your fingers because of course the finger oils get on them. So more on this in just a minute. Since the dawn of time, it has ravaged societies and helped build new empires. Today is no difference and the wasteland is next. 
we also have a card. This looks like an identification card. Security division, image not found, from vault -Tec. This card belongs to a vault -Tec security division employee from New Boston. <laughs> okay, we're moving closer. And only those with the highest clearance will gain access and unlock the riches within. We have a t-shirt. Now this is a really nice heavy t-shirt. Ooh, this looks like a Star Wars t-shirt. Now, Geek Fuel put out a t-shirt, not in last month's box, which I believe I'm wearing, but in the previous month, that is a t-shirt that is still sought after. So if you have the t-shirt out there, and it just happens to be size large, and you feel like sending it on in to Go Figure News, and we'll give you a big spotlight, please do. Um, it was a kind of a, an Aladdin Sane meets uh, sort of... Uh, trooper from uh, Star Wars graphic and it was really powerful and I loved it but I missed it and uh, that's one of those things that's exciting about these subscription boxes you have to get them early and often now here check this out it is kind of this is very interesting this is resistance the force not included it's kind of a model kit you know, um, graphic of a probably one of the, the fighter fighters where you would piece unpiece it together and and um, and use some glue and some ingenuity and put together your Star Wars fighter. Yeah. I love that it's sort of this heather gray and it's only got some hints of blue on parts of the ship. This is nice. Okay, so the t-shirt is exclusive to Geek Fuel, which is nice to know. It is, in fact, an Assemble the Resistance. What if you could just pop the pieces out of a sheet and build your own spaceship? Huzzah! And lastly, <laughs> this is so weird. Oh, it's totally, totally cool and weird. Pac-Man Salt and Pepper Pots. Look at these, ladies and gentlemen. These come from the UK. I'm gonna pop this open because I am so curious and excited. Now, I was a Pac-Man fool back in the time. Now, I was never a video game arcade guy. The only game I liked was Pac-Man. Oh my God, this is so gawky and weird. From Namco Bandai. These are from Bandai. Um, and also somehow working with paladone.com, P-A-L-A-D-O-N-E, made in China. That's pepper, salt and pepper. And this is weird. Okay, and then you got the red one for salt. So check those out. I'm loving them. They're kooky. I would never ever have thought of having a Pac-Man salt and pepper, but here they are. These likely will not be used for salt and pepper. They will be on a cool shelf. We have a, a sort of a, a, a glass cabinet with all sorts of cookie things, and I think these are going to go right in there, right after this video. And for the uh, Fallout, there's, a, there's also a giveaway. So it says, are you the lone survivor? Grab your credentials and use your technician ID and clearance number on your security key card which is probably built into the strip, I would say, and see if you can unlock the vault and win the ultimate follow giveaway. So basically all I have to do is log on to this site. And Geek Fuel for the month of November. It's quite interesting. It's very much dedicated, of course, uh, looks mostly to video games. Um, with the exception of Star Wars, of course, Star Wars has several video games out now, so uh, it is definitely a nod to the video games that are out there in the world. And, of course, that was a Mockingjay sticker, hence this big imagery on the magazine and back here. Oh, that's quite a lovely picture. If you've seen The Hunger Games and want to convince me as to why I should definitely watch the whole series and not waste my time any longer, please let me know. 
This has been Go Figure News. I am TJ for the Geek Fuel box this month. We have been excited to share this with you and keep subscribing to our channel and tell two friends. That's the only way uh, we're going to get out there into the world and be able to continue doing what it is that we do. Thank you so much. Over and out.